What's up y'all? Today's video is going to be showing you how to access all 16 channels of your fully loaded radar converter box with the help of a couple of its uh, favorite friends. One being some Dante software and the other being this absolutely stunning piece of gear. This is the Tony Shepard Mix Factory by A Designs and it is amazing. As always, there are links in the video below. Go check them out, you won't regret it. Let's get into it. A few things you're gonna to need to make this system work is go to oddnate.com, scroll down to Dante Controller, click on that, download it, install it. You're gonna do the same with Dante Virtual Sound Card. You can do a trial. We're gonna open that. My particular setup has 16 channels, so I have a 16 by 16 selected. There are different options, up to 64 channels, but mine is 16 by 16. So there we go, I'm gonna minimize that. Here at the rear of the units, we're connected via a single ethernet cable from the radar converter box to your computer. I'm also bringing all 16 output channels of the radar box via DB25 into all 16 inputs of the mix factory via DB25. Now I'm mixing in the mix factory and bringing that out via the main mix out back into the radar converter box to be reconverted into two channels of the inputs coming from the mix factory. And it is stunning. Now we're going to go into controller. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. See these? That means something's not right. Now, the session I'm gonna be showing you, I happen to know is in 44.1. Now, it looks like you'd go over here to check that, but you, that's not where you change the sample rate. But I can tell by expanding that, there's something set to 44.1 and something set to 48K. So, where we go to change that and verify that is up here to devices, click on devices, Click on device view. Checking my iMac. Yep, it's not communicating. Device configuration is the tab you go to. This is where you can change your sample rate uh, and other things. This is set to 44.1, which is what my session is set to, so I know that's not the problem. Clicking on my radar converter cards. Yep, there it is. There's 48K, so it's not synced properly. Click on 44.1. Yes, I do indeed want to restart it at 44.1. Click. Wait for it. Boom. We're green. Green means go. Green go. So I happen to be using Mixbus 32C. It's not an officially supported DAW from Oddnate, however, it does work for me. So my session is open in 44.1. Everything is synced and linked. We're good to go. If you look here, my session has a bunch of channels. I have routed this previously, but I'm going to show you how I would do it. I have some of these routed to buses, which are over here, which are routed to the appropriate in the outs. I think I'm using all but one channel on this session. So, on this particular DAW, you click this top here and it gives you all your routing in the screen. So I have this directed to output one. These others, you'll see they automatically populate one through 16, because that's how many channels I have. Yep, I have them routed. Let's verify that we have audio. There you go. We have audio, you can hear it. It's really just that simple. This unit sounds amazing just like it sets. If you'll notice though, there's four buttons across the bottom. Three of them are green. There's one that's not illuminated. And this sounds phenomenal. The space and the dimension is just reminds me of a console. Just to be frank with you, I come from using consoles. Uh, the hybrid mixing is relatively new to me. 
I always find myself wanting, uh, trying to find more space, more dimension. And I have to tell you, running this mix, no plugins, no nothing, coming into the box, coming back out of two of the channels to be reconverted by the radar, just like it sits with some volume knobs turned up, which you can hear, sounds amazing to me. Now this thing's got a secret weapon. Watch this. Boom, blue light. And I personally can't find a reason to ever turn that off. That's a custom wound transformer that sounds absolutely stunning. I just can't see a reason to turn that off. It sounds great without it, but once you hear it with that, you'll just leave it on all the time. None of the channels have any processing on them whatsoever, other than the master bus, which I use the Ozone 9 uh, compressor because I like it, it sounds good. This thing also has inserts where you could put a master uh, stereo bus processor in this if you have analog stereo processor. It just makes me feel like I'm using a console. The, like the space and the dimension is there. And if you check the links below, I did some comparison videos of just simply running through this box, trying to set the pan and the volume at the same place on a couple simple mixes. I think you'd be surprised at the difference. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, concerns, want to see me do something else, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to address every one of them. We'll catch you next time.